friends. Hello, what friendos. So I've kind of got a mini story time for you right now. Oh, I'm ready for the tea. <laughs> I'm so excited to tell this story. Okay, so I thought to myself, you know, because we do a lot of like vintage art supplies and stuff. I was thinking, I wonder if I can get my hands on like a vintage coloring book. Like what's like the oldest coloring book that I can get hold of? So I started having a, a scrounge around in my usual little places, digging around, seeing if I could find a vintage colouring book. Not many results were coming back. I mean, there were some things from like the 90s and 80s, but they didn't look too different to what we have now, basically. Yeah. And then I stumbled across something from the 80s that is very different, but then also kind of similar to something that we already have. I okay. Th I think this might actually be from the 70s suite. Is it? I think well, so, yeah. Anyway, let me just quickly show you what it is. Yeah, yeah, let's get into so it. So bear in mind, I wanted to try and find a vintage colouring book. Yes. Guess what I found? Da, 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 da. Behold, the anti-colouring book. So it's the opposite of what I was looking for, and that just intrigued me, and I was like, I think I need this. Can we talk about how the kid looks <laughs> like he's been assassinated because he tried to colour it? <laughs> this isn't what this book's about, boy. Okay, so the back of this book, it says, the anti-colouring book is great. There we go. Well, it's good enough for me. <laughs> it's different. It's nothing like an ordinary colouring book. It gives you the chance to use your imagination to the full. Get your paints, felt tip pens, crayons, and whatever you want to use to start colouring, if you can keep the book to yourself, which we're sharing, so we can't keep it Yeah, make, make sure you share with me. I had a peek at, like, the listing for this on... That where I bought it from. Mm -hmm. um, it's meant to be like completely unused. So oh wow, nice. Yeah, we can completely deface it. <laughs> the concept of them actually looked so similar to um, there's that really popular book series called Reckless Journal. And ever since we've had an art channel, we've had people asking if we can do a Reckless Journal series. And we were thinking, ah, oh, but a ton of people have already done that, and maybe it's been sort of like overly done. But this is sort of like an OG Reckless this, Journal. Yeah, this is like the original Reckless Journal, the anti-colouring book with dead person on it. <laughs> oh, Hippo Publishing, that looks cute. I do like the hippo little thing. Across the butt. <laughs> Brand my butt. We have to decide whether we're gonna work through this like page by page or should we just like flip through and get one at random? I think what we should do, right, is potentially turn this into a series. I think what we should do is pick one page at random mm -hmm. first. And then every so often, uh, we'll turn this into a series. Let us know, guys, in the comments below if you'd like us to uh, turn this into a series. I'm really excited. And uh, every so often, if you guys want to see, we'll uh, we'll fill in another page. Who gets to pick the first page? <laughs> well, seeing as you're so excited, I, I found the book. I think I should pick the first one. <laughs> why, why are you even asking me? You already made your choice. Well, I just needed to find a nice way to tell you. Well, I'm picking the first one. <laughs> okay, just make sure you pick a good one. Okay. <laughs> what was the nicest dream you ever had? Are those feet talking to me? Well, the nicest dream I had was when I went, met uh, Barack Obama and we oh. had pizza together. <laughs> the amount of times that Adam's told this dream. I think it is his favourite dream though. It is. And this is difficult for me because, fun fact, that's actually not so fun for me at all whatsoever. I just like constantly have nightmares. So does that mean I just have to pick the one that's like the least distressing. Yeah. <laughs> just pick the least terrifying nightmare and illustrate that one. Or you could just make up a dream. That'd be pretty no, cool. No, it wouldn't be the same. I want to pick something that my brain's actually subconsciously come up with. I think we've remembered a repressed dream. Yeah, it's only because it's recurring. This one I've had for like my entire life. If you can interpret dreams and you want to tell me what enough's going on inside my brain, feel free to let me know. <laughs> or unless it's too disturbing, then just tell me that everything will be okay, please. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, this dream that I've had recurring for a long time is that I find out that all my pets from the past that have like passed away are actually still alive and they've just been living by themselves and like living in the wild or something this entire time and then I feel really guilty that I haven't been taking care of them. Okay. And then they all start breeding together and then my house is just overrun with like guinea pigs. Oh whoa, okay. And then like gerbils and hamsters. <laughs> so like all your previous animals run away into the forest, have like a really well, like randy time and then come back. Well I'm still fully under the impression that they've passed away, which they have. I'm pretty certain that they have, guys. <laughs> but based on like this recurring dream, they're not actually dead. 
and then suddenly I've got to look after all of them and they're all breeding with each other and it's a lot to handle. <laughs> That's a lot of breeding, oh my god. Does anyone else have nightmares about animals breeding lots? <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below. <laughs> Do you have a recurring nightmare? Feel free to let me know. <laughs> right, I think we should uh, swiftly move on and try... <laughs> now, Steph suggested off camera that it shouldn't be a, like a, a romantic collab even, where um, we collaborate because there is only one little dream cloud. Yeah, and, and it would be together. nice to draw inside the anti-colouring book. Exactly, yeah. Are we going to do like half and half or...? No, I think instead of doing like half and half, yes. we should try and turn it into a proper like collaboration. Okay. So it works as like one cohesive piece. My idea for it is I'm just going to try and do like a ton of like guinea pigs. So you've got to somehow fit the Barack Obama pizza <laughs> and you somehow. The Barack Obama. <laughs> I mean, if you wanted to, you could do your piece, like, first, and then I could try and incorporate the guinea pigs around. Around it. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. If you want, I could, like, go first, and you could do, like, a really cute, ornate guinea pig, like, almost border type thing, yeah. Okay. Okay. Just make sure you leave me some space so I can put I'm not going to fill this whole, like, dream bubble. Jeez. <laughs> Okay, so uh, here's what we're working with so far, me and Barack Obama's pizza buddies. I like how you've drawn the sausage and all this. <laughs> <laughs> but um, do you think you can work with this? Yeah, I think it looks really cute. It might be a good idea as well if one of us then inks the entire piece and the other one colours the whole piece. Okay, well I was gonna say, I was going to say you should ink it, but based on colouring it in, I think maybe I should ink it and you should colour it in. I don't mind, which we're all like, I like inking and colouring. Okay, I want to see some pig magic. Can you show me some? Okay. <laughs> Our collaboration. Yeah, I haven't seen any of Steph's yet, so I want to oh, see. I'm going to show these guys first. You want me to hold it? Yeah, because Adam hasn't seen it yet. Okay, so that's what we're working with. Let's see what Adam thinks of it. So I'm allowed to see now, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that is a lot of. Oh my god, your dreams now, seeing it on paper, that is kind of terrifying. He's my favourite. I love him. <laughs> Oh, hello. And it might make it look like really consistent. Like I was saying, if one of us like inks, because then it'll all be consistently inked. And then if one of us colours, because it'll all be like consistently yeah. coloured. I kind of wish now that this did happen in my dream. <laughs> Me and Barack Obama went to go and get pizza and then all these guinea pigs shown up as well. This one's my favourite one. He's trying to steal a slice of the pizza. <laughs> Oh, you've done such a cool- I love what you've done with that. Mine looks, uh, <laughs> mine look kind of plain and boring, but you've done such a cool job. I put some pizza toppings on it. And I made one that looks kind of like Brindle. A really big guinea pig up there. Is that a bumble? That looks like a crest. I thought we needed a crested guinea. I'm excited to line this. Do you have any preference as to what I should line it with? No, honestly, it's, it's completely in your cart what you want to pick. Hmm. I'm trying to see what I've got in here. I've got some Copic ones. I could use one of these. Do a fine liner one, maybe? I'm gonna start with this little pig. I really love his face. You do such expressive animals, then. <laughs> expressive guineas. It's because yeah. our guinea pigs are very expressive. You love his little, like, oh, I'm so pleased. Is that Barack Obama? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know you. There we go. Oh, his little piggy. His little piggy hands. I think we can all agree that Steph does do the, uh, the cutest little animals. It's the most guinea pigs I've ever had to draw in like the quickest length of time with no reference. Oh, he didn't use any reference on no. me. Oh my god. <laughs> These are just all from my memory of like our guinea pigs and things they do. 
Did you use any references? I had to look at Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair enough. I mean, I can do a pizza and myself from memory. <laughs> I just have to make sure that Barack Obama's okay. Yeah, now you've mentioned it, like, how you thought about our pigs. All of these faces they have done at some point. <laughs> That's why if you've got, like, a pet, they're really good uh, drawing subjects because they do so many different pauses. God, I love how you've taken what I did. And you've added, like, so much going on to it. You've done such a good job. So there's been, like, quite a few bits on it where I've tried to, like, overlap things that you've drawn to sort of add extra <laughs> dimension onto it. So I was thinking it might not look like much of a collab if I was just, like, drawing things sort of on... Like, next to it yeah, and stuff. On the yeah, outside. So I wanted to create, like, more of an overlap. And that's why I wanted to also create, like, a guinea pig who's pulling on the pizza because then it sort of merges the two together. Is that like a guinea pyramid? Yeah. Like, <laughs> everything's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, I'm excited to see what this is going to look like. It's making me kind of nervous because if I erase too hard, it actually starts to fade. Out oh, some of the ink. Yeah, so I'm like, easy does it now. You could go over it a little bit more with the pen if there's yeah. any bits that you're nervous about. So far, so good. And obviously the age of the paper as well. I don't want to be too aggressive with it in case it disintegrates or something. This is like potentially the most collabby collab we've ever done. That's true. Yeah, I, I think it is. So, and in like a, a book from the seventies, no less. I would never have thought. Just missed his little piggy, his little piggy leg. Oh, I'm excited to colour this one. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, you. I realised that you might have something fancy in store for us. Yeah, I wanted to show you the watercolours that I'm using today. Ooh. I have technically, I think, shown these on the channel before, but I've decorated them with stickers since then, so I think it's very important to share my updated new sticker look. Is that Reese and Cyrus from Animal Crossing? Or? Yeah, it's meant to be like a his and hers palette, <laughs> oh. and I tried to make it look like a little letter. Like a it looks letter. really cute, yeah, look at that. I'm really proud of it. Can we have a look inside? Okay. Because I don't think this one, yeah, has really been used all that much, but look at the colours. That is a really nice watercolour sound. And this is White Knights, right? Yeah, White Knights, or Ooh. St. Petersburg, I think they also go by. Look at that, they're all ready to be used. I'm contemplating whether to do, like, the guinea pigs in, like, bright colours. You know, like the hamsters. Yeah, yeah, well, it's a dream, so... It Theoretically, yeah. they can be anything. Throwback to the hamsters, by the way, guys. I'm gonna put a card somewhere up here. Be sure to send some love to Fat Hamster. <laughs> no! And his unfinished story. Ooh, whoa, look at that. That is nice. Is that a red? It's like a pinky red colour, I think. And where are you gonna go in first? Just doing a test, because we don't know yet whether it's even gonna work on this paper, and if not, I might have to use a different art supply. So far, so good. I mean, it, the paper is taken to it pretty nice. The paper's got a little bit of like a glossy texture to it, so I'm not sure if it's going to dry, but we shall find out, guys. Oh, yikes. So yeah, I guess now's the waiting game to see, does this paper work? I love the little hand effects. <laughs> talk you through what I've been doing with this. Okay. The paper has kind of got like a magazine-y kind of texture to it, so yeah. the watercolour's taken to it, but in a bit of a strange way, so I don't know if I'd really advise using watercolour in it again in future, but I thought, you know what, let's just roll with this. Yeah, well, yeah, let's, yeah. And because it's like a vintage book, Let's have a look. I thought it might be fun to try and do it based on like a red and blue colour palette because you remember the old like 3D red and blue glasses? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was sort of like my look for it. 
I think that looks really awesome. And it also, because the colours are kind of uh, dreamy-like, it looks really trippy, like a like a trippy dream. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I really like it. So well, let's get a good close-up here, guys. So here's what we managed to create with this very interesting sort of early breakfast journal. It's wet. Oh, it's oh. fine. Oh, thank goodness for that. Thankfully, because it's cheap paper, it's dried very quickly. <laughs> do let us know, guys, if you want us to do. Do let us know if you want us to do a series on this book, because I think this was really, really fun. I'm going to post a mystery video somewhere on screen now, and don't forget to like and subscribe so we can see uh, you next time for another Doodle Date. Doodle Date! Bye for now, guys! Bye! Bye-bye! Uh,